the Weird Bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen. Hogwarts Legacy, I am getting hooked on this game. And in this episode, we will be, first of all, visiting the greenhouses and uh, having our first class, I suppose, in, er in uh, Herbology. And open that door. And uh, I'm really excited. Don't really know what kind of spell I will be learning. Rebellion. But, okay, I should be waiting here, it seems like. But I also heard one of the those plingly plongs. That means that we should be having a field guide page somewhere around here in the vicinity. So it doesn't look like something I can collect right here. Okay, maybe it's just better to not dilly-dally, but rather jump straight into the quest. Which first consisted of waiting, I suppose. First of all, before I start the quest. I want to see if I can collect... That uh, field guide page. Black watch played long coat. Beautiful. Oh, it's close. It is very close. Maybe it's down here. Okay, there it is. There it is. Rebellion. Beautiful. So. Dirigible plums. Dirigible. Uh, whatever. This orange radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Huh. You don't say. Worth noting as well is that uh, I cannot imagine that it's too much fun watching gameplay of just running around and uh, collecting field guide pages so that's Rebellion. actually something i've been doing a little bit outside of uh, my recording time so that i can focus rather on the quests and not so much uh, the puzzles during my youtube episodes Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Professor Garlic. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. And the only one who's not dressed in a Hogwarts we do uniform. To growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> oh, these are the ones uh, from the Chamber of Secrets movie, now, right? That screams. Everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, do I want to do this? Yes, I do. That was a terrifying Sorry, scream. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Warm and dirty, you say? Repair it. I'm very sorry, 
sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. That can't be it, can it? It now, was? No. Next task will be planting dismiss our potting tables. You can all Revelio. get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second last best season. time is now. I should think That's Professor deep. Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Really? Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Probably not. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? Sounds like something I might want to use in the future. To defend myself, you'd say? Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Well, I did enjoy it, didn't I? Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. That's, of course, something Let's I'll have to learn to do. to balance my star thistle arrangement. Lift Growing stuff. Or roses. Okay, plant Dittany seeds at the potting table. And Dittany here it is, isn't it? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion. Right. As you all should know from... Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Of course, and the Wiganweld potion, that's something that I will be using quite a lot, seeing as I usually frequently take a lot of damage during, uh, during duels and such. This is the Dittany Seed, select it, and I guess that's it. It should be ready to harvest in 10 minutes, and from it I guess I will get 5 units of... Dittany flower, I guess? Right, then it will be ready in 10 minutes, so I will not be emptying my pot, but rather just escape, and I will well wait for 10 done. minutes. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll that sounds dangerous. That some plants are better suited to use mm. as outside of a cauldron the cabbages do get testy without something to chew fortunately i have a dummy for them to gnaw on be a dear and let them have a good chomping yes professor absolutely the greenhouse it's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room your classmate mr pruitt has kindly offered to accompany you all right thank you Come mr back pruitt and see me when you're finished oh and mind your fingers they do bite oh my god am i gonna get damaged during herbology Right. There you are. Hello. Saw you on your A way Gryffindor, to Gryffindor, eh? Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Really? So I'm supposed to find it. Oh ah, well. Nice work in defense against the dark arts. Why, thank you. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. Whoa. Oh, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Whoa, slaughtered oh. him? Not really, he's still alive. Oh. Here we are. Very much Home so. Home of the Chinese chomping ca- Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages up it, and they'll do the rest. That dummy. Uh, okay. That's not how I throw a chomping cabbage, is it? Hold tab. Right, and tap to open the tool wheel and assign the chomping cabbages. Oh, damn! Ah! Anything they can get their uh, mouths on. 
mum planted some in her garden. Don't want to be near those good things. Also looks like I took some damage from that. Okay. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. He looks like he could be a Weasley. Gryffindor red hair. can't go it alone. But, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire Trust time. Trust me. You were. I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. I think Take your time. I scared him a little bit. Class. Thank you. Oops. Rebellion. Nothing to reveal here. And eventually, when I'll be able to start up to start uh, unlocking these locks, I will be able to collect even more plants and even more parts of the story as well. Come on! A reminder as to why we should always Hello. wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Didn't he leaves? Anything Rebellion. more for me to collect here, I wonder? Doesn't look like it, does it? Or maybe. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much, that's true. We do love our strawberries. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards, always, Eleanor Everly. Sweet. And I just took that letter. Uh, but I do think I'm ready to return to Professor Golic. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Skill in the soil? Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Great. Herbology class is finished. One out of six, it appears. And, um... I hope that I will be going to potions class soon as well. Four minutes left. Inspect. New quest available. Good idea. Okay, potions class. That's just what I was talking about. We also need to do the Wagadu. The Wagadu quest. Both of these are acquired level 4. I'm wondering which one might be more... Okay, I'll, I, I'll actually think that I will be doing the, um, the girl from Wagadu quest uh, now. And then potions class will be the next main story episode. I'm also planning on doing like smaller episode where I go through all of the separate um, side quests. Really? How is blue better than orange? Looks a bit better actually. Matches with the scarf quite a bit. Beautiful. Nothing else new to wear. I did uh, collect some money using the invisibility uh, spell. I collected some money when I was in Hogsmeade. Buy some potions. Right, we did collect another letter, and we also did collect quite a few herbs. Great stuff. Anything else? Collections. Right, most likely I have collected quite a few herbs here. Now, if I don't even think that's here, though. I would so much like to just have a quick uh, mark all as red icon here. Doesn't look like there is anything like that currently. But let's go to um, Natty and start the quest 
of the girl from Wagadu. Oh, really? No way for me to... No way for me to just... Um... Run there, huh? Wonder if I can uh, travel there this way. Nope. This was something else. The library. Okay, I will just uh, pause the recording, I believe, and then get back to you once. Revelio. Once um, I'm closer to Natty and just starting the quest. So I will see you in a few minutes. Just checking in. Still on my way uh, to run. Man, I'm looking forward to when uh, I will be accessing my broom. These things will be so much quicker. We still have only 500 meters left. I'm wondering if uh, the potions clause or something like that would uh, get me closer to unlocking my uh, broom. But once again, I'll see. I mean, look at this. The Owl's Nest and Hogwarts. We'll never get sick of... And the Quidditch pitch field, whatever. Never getting tired of these visuals, but I will be back to you in a few minutes when we are closer to Natty. Okay, apparently there was a flu flame right here that I didn't see on the quick travel map. So, I could have gone without a lot of running, but still, only 200 meters left. I think it's meters that we count in here, the metric system. So I hope all of you is having a marvelous day, and if you have, um, if you have tried out Hogwarts Legacy, please let me know what you thought about it. There are... Of course, um, a lot of different opinions on the gameplay or the or the um, controversy around J.K. Rowling, for example. Rebellion. There we go. Another field guide page. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Beautiful. Anything else here for me to grab? An elegant emerald robe and an osseal robe. Wow, a lot of beautiful robes. Do I need to uh, change my clothes already? I think I might do that actually. So I'm uh, all wagged up starting the new mission. Dark, okay, new gloves. But those are worse than my dark art dueling gloves. Love those, by the way. I think they look really cool. Okay, what do we got for me here? Not high enough level for the elegant emerald robe, but the classical trimmed school robe. All right. Okay, that looks even better. My health points and defense and offense are starting to pile up. That's really great to see. However, that did not look good. Very soon, I need to start selling stuff. Selling stuff or um, destroying I stuff. Investigate. Rebellion. What should I investigate? Something over here? Okay. I'll collect that. What am I supposed to do here? Incendium. Okay, that didn't work. What if I... Put that there, and then incendio. incendio. Look at that! And this looks like somewhere where I should be having Lumos, actually. Lumos. Rebellion. Okay, okay, okay. So far, no plingly plonks. And that looks like a basic chest as well. So now I'm thinking. I might want to destroy some of my stuff. Just to. Some basic things. Just to make sure that. Uh, just to make sure that. 
I don't miss out on any great stuff. So, mm -hmm. that actually gives me some defense. So, I will keep that on while... While um, in the quest. And you destroy that. Destroy that. So now I have room for four more things. And look at that. Looked like a seasoned traveler. Collected some Horklump juice as well. That's something new for my um, inventory. Most likely that's what I'll see in the collections as well. Okay, I got a velvet school robe that's Rebellion. worse than the things I already have. Okay, at least I've done some cool exploration stuff. What's this? Incendio. Okay. It wasn't an open fireplace, at least that's for sure. Okay. Now, time to start the quest. Leech juice. Come on. Quicker swimming, please. We need to have swimming lessons. Revelio. We can start. You can really collect things anywhere and everywhere in this game. Okay, where's my dear friend? There you are, right next to the flue flame. That's convenient, isn't it? It is good to see you, my friend. Very good to see you as well. Let's talk. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Oh, damn if I know. They want something I found. Now, I think I'm gonna play it pretty close to the chest with Natty. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. Indeed. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both yeah, of that you was have badass. inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a Let's create an army. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. How oh, very sweet. Be on your guard. You as well, my dear friend. You as well. Rebellion. What? What's going on here? So it sounds like someone is in a bit of a pickle. No clingly plongs here. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. What? Okay, also looks like we have a couple of more quests to deal with here. But also your stories today. Hello, sir. You want to sell something here. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Thank you. But most of all, I would like to sell what some of my sale? inventory to you. What can I help you with today? I want to sell 
some of my I'll have no trouble selling this. Worse items. And I do believe that all the all the skins, so to speak, what what all these look like, um, I will still be able to get that back in one of the shops in Hobsmeade. So might as well just sell everything that I got, and I'm almost up to five grand. I'm getting rich. Thank you. That's all. I just Hope wanted some money. Oh. Damn, it's gotten dark. It's gotten dark real Rebellion. quick. Okay, a chest. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Indeed. And I'm just running around raiding everything from them. Cool, they have some really good equipment here. Dark sun hat. Should I run around cowboy style, maybe? Hello! Here we have something that would be better in my hands. Blood Red Fedora. What's this? Rebellion. Something hiding out under... Oh, pizza. No, it wasn't pizza. Something hiding under the house, I wonder. Okay, anyway, I would like to see what's going on over there. But first, I really need to have a short cough, I'm sorry. And I'm back, sorry. So, let's run out here, help the stranger. So it sounds like we might be ending up in a bit of a duel. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Hello, Slytherin. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar, Pinch Smedley's? I was hoping Is someone a band? would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Well, sure. If all I need to do is throw some Accio around. Riding into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell sounds like that. something I could do. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, can't dive, can I, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I don't think I actually can dive, so most likely this is going to be an Accio project. What exactly project. is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's Damn. mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. I understand that. But should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Still, you're in Slytherin and not in Ravenclaw. Maybe it's the ambition that puts her in Slytherin. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. 
I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that... When does she have time for classes? There, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Absolutely. But... I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. Totally. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. Just I northeast, dive down and say. see. And I cannot use any spells while in water. So I guess we'll have to find it another way. Rebellion. Okay, it's the purple thing over there. Okay, I'm I'll just gonna do a quick dive. Oh, to this side, and then I'll walk, run over and help the stranger. Starting to get really late, though, so I really have to get back to my. Um... Okay, feels like something I should be doing with a broom instead. This takes way too long, so I'll just help the stranger instead. So first of all, I will be switching my quest to Trials of Merlin. Oh damn, that sounds really interesting, actually. And also, like something where I need some new gear. We have some new outfits here that increase the defense quite a bit, actually. Actually, it doesn't look half bad. I wonder if... Okay. Can't use the uh, sun hat yet. However, I can use the blood red fedora. Actually, looks. Uh, I was gonna say it looks better, but I'm not quite sure that it actually does. Okay, good enough. And also, sorry, there was a new wand handle, was it? No, I actually quite like the one I already had. Plus, I don't think they really add anything. So you can't make like super ridiculously strong wands just by adding new handles. I must have come this way. Think Rebellion. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. Are those I've students? Been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. And Mr. he Rookwood shall appear. Like with you. Is that so? A student, you can't be so <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. You there. I shall kill you for this when I get down from here. Boom. That actually worked out quite nice, didn't it? Oh no. Is that who I think it is? Oh, that's a bitching outfit. Okay. The collections section of your field guide has been updated with new enemy types. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses or certain spells. And boom! That old magic stuff is awesome. And that's a win! Completing dueling feats. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. We kicked their Rebellion. ass, that's what happened. Speak with a stranger. Hello, madam. What's up? Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive yeah, skills. That actually went alright. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Indeed. Who is Priya, though? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. 
Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's That's a traveling so. vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Great. So, research. How interesting. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Huh. I thought Merlin was a myth. Uh, I know that guy was real, but let's just I thought that Merlin humor her. About King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Duggan. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. Oh, he was a Slytherin. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and I thought dangerous. he was a Ravenclaw. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. Mm. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow, Mallow Sweet. Sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Looks like something I'd rather should set I on fire. I brought a chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. First of all, let's just give it a shot. Incendio. All right, that didn't work. Mallow sweet, you say? This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Thank you. I have Ooh. the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Yes. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. So I'm guessing... Okay, I can actually just use it easily. Whoa! What? Did you see that? The vines disappeared! And now... What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted. Yeah! The fairies make the pyre sink. Okay. Not a really long range of incendio. Great, any else? Anyone else? Okay. Indeed, curious. Hmm. So I should solve it. Yeah, I wonder if there's any specific order in which I should be sinking them down. Incendio. Okay. So uh, that was most likely just sheer dumb luck. But still, we got it done. What a That's day. doing it in the weird bubble way. Speak to Nora Treadwell. Yes, I mean, this Rebellion. is beautiful. It really, should really be a field guide page somewhere around here. But no. Incendium. No field guide pages and no possibility to set the grass on fire. Success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit. 
Which right. you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. Or go I by myself. Really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. You. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return. Revelio, safety of my notes and books. Okay, so done with the first Trials of Merlin quest. I'm actually thinking that I'd rather want to run back, or travel back rather, to the um, to the gardens to collect my herbs that I was growing. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yes, very nice indeed. Okay, so now I'd like to see Revelio. Oh damn! Completely forgetting. Could that be mine? Yes, indeed, it can. Hello. Okay, my Tiffany on. Got five Tiffany leaves. So I guess this is one place I can just. That's one place where I can grow stuff, but until I start um, constructing my own tables. Silver scarf. Beautiful. Rebellio. Still no plingly plonks. But it seems to start getting quite late, actually, to be honest. Um, but we do have another quest. I wonder if we... What should we do here? Potions class, right. Okay, let's just, let's wrap this episode up with a potions class, why not? Two classes in one. Keeping one force, one control, and one damage spell. I keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Right, that's actually something that we can start doing, and then we'll do the potions class in, um, in the next episode. The gobstones, you say. Um... Gobs of gobstones. I get wand handles for that. That's awesome. And also I should talk to Lucum Brattleby about spell combination practice. That's something that I actually should do. But let's see. I mean, high places. I don't even know what the freaking gobstone looks like. Revelio. That might be one. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Huh. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I guess Rebellion. that's one way to do it. And a blingly plong somewhere. So, okay, that's the kind of high place. And they also have kind of a glow to them, don't they? No! Get up. Thank you. Right, there it is. Another field guide page. And it says, Palmistry model. This standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which it, this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Rebellion. Sounds... Speaking. Okay. No glittering balls up there. Hello. So... These things seem to stand around in all kinds of places. Uh, Mudiva Onai, under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination processor, processor, professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. So, now I have... For the letter as well, and no gobstones. So I am also thinking that most likely it was just sheer dumb luck that I find found that gobstone there. I there must be an eye on high places so, around the school right. for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, and I don't think all of them are in that chandelier. But imagine how inconvenient the travel was before I invented Could be oh right. What? I have no idea how I just got that one. I was aiming for the field guide page. Okay. So that's one thing. 
Ooh, and there we have another door. That might be actually fun to stall real quick. No. No gobstones. Also a really crappy strategy, most likely. Alright. So, reveal. Uh, a two and a three. That's a five, so we need a four on the first one. That is... Whatever that tree thing is. That one. Okay. And the next one. A zero plus one. So it should be a three, right? It should be the three-headed dragon. So now I just need to find... Oh, right over there. Come on! Stop switching! No, this is the one I was rolling. Oh, damn. There we go. Open the door, Proximo. Thank you. Open the chest. We got collection updated tower. What? Rebellion. This was actually one of the bigger rooms that I've been in. Oh, and we have even more of these fun things. And there we have a field guide page that we will be collecting. Uh, this classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology, though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon calves whilst nodding off at their desks. Reveal. Oh, re this reveal has been lasting a long time. Right, uh, that one is a zero, one, two, three, four, five, because it's five legs, right? So a five... Plus a six, that's eleven, so we need a four on that one. Which would be that weird explosion thing. And then, thirteen plus a zero, so we need a five. And that is that weird five-legged legs thing. Beautiful! Look at this! Look at me, making, getting Rebellion. things done. No more plingly plongs. So that's one room unlocked, and now we'll reveal this one. So, a six and a five, that's eleven. So that's a six. That's the lizard thing. And then we need a seven and a zero. So we need a one, don't we? So a unicorn. Great! Really getting hang of these things. Uh, collection updated. Thestral statue and checked gloves. Rebellion. Nothing else here for me to find, is there? But still, we got some cool collection stuff. What's in here? Oh, right. Also, are there any gobstones in here? Make sure that I'm always looking at the high places. Can't always be as... Uh, Lucky as I was in the first one. High places? No? High places? No? No high places? One spot that has a lot of high I places. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. But I've already found the one that was here. I mean, how... Okay. That's another chest. That we will be opening, and for that I need to become invisible. Then I'll keep looking at high, in high places for the gobstones. Thank you. Now we got a weird mist going here as well. But I will be pausing the uh, recording now to see uh, until to jump around a little bit, see if I find more gobstones. I found two out of six so far. So I'll get back to you in a minute or so. Here we are. See that shiny little ball up there? Accio, that sucker, and we are halfway there. Just following the minimap, basically, and then they will give you kind of a, an area in which you should be finding the gobstones. So just running around, following the little yellow dots. And it will be... And it's uh, a lot easier to find them. 
I wonder if I haven't already collected this gobstone. Maybe I haven't. No, this is a place where I haven't been before. And I hear a plingly cling. Lumos. And we can light that one up as well. And I am willing to bet that the next gobstone is somewhere up. Right, and okay, there we go. See it? Places around the school for Zenobia's gold Absolutely. Accio it. Four out of six. Almost there. This actually went a lot quicker than I uh, than I anticipated. What? Okay, right. Levioso. Levioso. It's always Levioso on those, it seems. Thank you. And then the um, owl things. You should just light on fire, I suppose. Make sure to not be on the staircase when that one disappears. Whatever. Okay, there it is. Really close by. Uh, moving staircase. The savvy student is wise to keep an eye on the stairs as they will change position without notice. While certain students may not mind being late for class, they may very well regret being late to dinner. Interesting. Just hope it doesn't disappear on me. Okay. Hmm. I might have to go to the very... Can't go any high. Yes, of course I can. Also, it would be very nice to do this one real quick. Uh, 15 plus 2 equals 7. So, there... 17. So, this should be a 6. Which is the lizard. And that's the 2 one. Thank you. I did see the question mark somewhere over here. Nope. So I can't shoot at it. Okay. How about just using the staircase? The lizard. Right. Thank you. And then... We had a 19 plus 3, that's 20, oh no, not that one, it's the, how is a 9 plus 3, that's 12, so we need a 7, which is that tooth octopus thing. Great, and then, open sesame. Thank you. Hunter fingerless gloves. Rebellion. And then we're done in here. But now I still need to go even further up to make sure that I find the next gobstone. I am very, very happy that. Incendium. You can light that one on fire. Accio. Can't Accio Levioso. it. Can't Levioso it. Incendium. And I'm too far away to Incendio it. Gobstone should be pretty close by. How far up can they actually have hidden this thing? Still can't incendio it. Rebellion. Hmm. So it looks like they could have hidden the gobstone damn near anywhere around here. Not necessarily the top floor. So I will be running around a little bit and get back to you when I've found it. Stones. Okay, now at Rebellion. least I'm somewhere where he gave me this small hint. There we go. That's not the one I was looking for though. But it's one of them. Rebellion. Also, another field guide page. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll, believe it or not. That it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Hmm. Any more plingly plongs? Right, here we have a couple. Wow. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel and across the chest. The Goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Triwizard tri Tournament since the contests 
establishment in the late 13th century. Cool beans. And this one? This room contains the House Cup, Quidditch trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. No more plingly plums. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon 7th year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic. Oh right, my professor. From Mandrakes to Mistletoe and Bubotubers to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Cool. Revelio. Great work. And no, that's not what I was looking for. Might be at a completely wrong. There we go. See it? And we are done. Now we just need to get back to Zenobia and give her her gobstones. Oh. This set of armor for a house elf is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize that armor armor could, in fact, be considered clothing. clothing right. The moment the elf donned it, he disappeared right out of it, never to be seen again. There are a lot of field guide pages up here. Uh, this unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift was spurned and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. Oh. Any more interesting Rebellion. sets of armor? No. However, I do believe that I can use the flute flame to get uh, to where I need to go a lot quicker. And which might be the closest one? Professor Figg's classroom. Let's see if that's the closest one. Kind of difficult not seeing the levels on which the flu flames are. Because you might think that it's right on top of it, but then it's like 90 stores too high. And it looks like something like that is what happened here. I got your... Gobstones! Wee! Where are you? Revelio. No plingly plongs. Ah, a rhinoceros. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Yes, indeed, I did, my friend. Let's talk about Hello, it. Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Are you seeing the minimap? Some basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Well, I have no cause for being that cocky, seeing as I had a minimap guiding me to basically where they were. Uh, yes, of course. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful! Indeed. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Well, actually, that's kind of a bad idea because they don't like her. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Good luck. You're going to need it. So, quest complete. Gobs of Gobstones. Complete side, re side or relationship quest. Great, and also I level up to level 15. So we've got that going for us, and that is one of those chests that I will be opening right before I wrap this episode up for today. Ending it with a couple of wins. Hello, give me some money, thank you. And just like that, I believe that we will be wrapping up the episode for today, we have been doing herbology class, we have been doing Merlin's trials, and we have been finding gobstones. It's been a very, very um, 
very successful episode when it comes to accomplishments, I believe. Hope you enjoyed it if you watched it this far. If you have any tips or tricks, write them down in the comments below or any suggestions on which uh, quests you would like me to do next. And uh, also a big thank you to my subscribers of this channel. You uh, make it all worthwhile and it's so much fun creating content when you know that it's being appreciated. So a big thank you to all of you. Now have a great day and I will see you in the next episode.